For subtitles, please click here and choose your preferred language. And we lived in a small little room. And the others went out all the time because they were far more social and perhaps knew a lot more people. The sterilization campaign, the most difficult, the most um, controversial program in the world. And he was extremely um, care careful of her well-being. Well, when I married him, uh, he was not in politics. He used to leave at six in the morning for Maruti and come back at six in the evening. Um, but yes, you couldn't separate him from politics. Both the sons lived with her and it was a close-knit family in one way. But we met only at meals, you know, either lunch or dinner. And lunch, difficult because we were all away. So we met at dinner. And dinner was always a sort of non-controversial, happy uh, meal. But our lifestyles were completely different. You know, Sanjay and I were, were sort of no going out. A young couple, but very quiet. Mm -hmm. And we lived in a small little room. Mm -hmm. And the others went out all the time because they were far more social and perhaps knew a lot more people. So it was completely different human beings, completely different lifestyles, completely different aims for what we wanted. If you look at the emergency, firstly you put all the blame on this young man of 28, 29 years old. When there were so many people who mucked about. Secondly, if you um, say that he did things for his own power, you didn't have to have an emergency for him to establish power. He, to say that he took upon himself, you know, the sterilization campaign, which was really the crux of what people's anger mm -hmm. fell on. Here's somebody who's entering politics. Whether he enters it at the top or the bottom, he's entering politics. He's not stupid. You know, his, he had a very, very high IQ level. And he knows that this is going to be the most difficult, the most um, controversial program in the world. And yet, even though it is not his program, but the health ministry, ministry's program, which has preceded him by a year, he still takes the onus on himself and goes forward. There were lots of mistakes. You know, I make 10 mistakes a day. I try and put five of them right. Five I have to live with. There were lots of mistakes. It was completely new for India. But to say that he did it with a bad heart would be perhaps overemphasis. Or to say he did it because, you know, I keep hearing this word lumpen. He was not the slightest bit lumpen, you know. It's difficult to um, explain, but he was one of the most refined minds I'd ever come across, and language-wise. You know, something special about Sanjay, you know, he wasn't really, he was like having an old spirit mm -hmm. inside a young body. There was a very strong mother-son thing as well, right. you know. She saw him as a son and also as an elder brother. So it was a, an odd relationship. And he was extremely um, care, careful of her well-being. And he would never ever do anything to offend her or to make her sad even for a minute. And no, I would never have married that kind of person. You know, even I'm a very family person. I, I've never ever heard him ever raise his voice to anyone, much less her. And when the government fell, I was 19, you know, 19, just going on 20. We walked into the house and it was completely dark except for one light. My mother-in-law was all alone and there was a kind of eerie calmness. If she hadn't been attacked unceasingly, day after day after day, if they just left her alone after a bit, I'm sure she wouldn't really have wanted even to come back. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.